Hi guys, this is Atomic Eager with his another review. Why usually people buy Volkswagen? First of all, it's nice interior, as this one. Second thing is like good handling, which is this car has. And another thing is good brake. Again, this car has it. So this Volkswagen Golf has a 2.0 liter diesel engine with 150 horsepower. This car was sold only in 2018. Why? I think all of us remember this Volkswagen scandal with the diesel engine. I really love it how this car holds the road. Really, it's how cars are supposed to hold the road. It's much, I would say, much better than some Korean or Japanese comparatives. Maybe not so good or maybe on the same level as Honda Civic, but I would say this car definitely better than Toyota Corolla. This Volkswagen Golf, I would say it's like mid-grade uh, version with 17-inch rims with reeling on the roof. And biggest achievement of this car, it's a huge panoramic roof. But what can I can tell you from our own experience, because I would say I tested this car for at least one month, it's a not, not the best options if you have kids on the back seat and you're gonna stay in the traffic. When you're stuck in the traffic, it's reduce his speed too fast. Each time when you press gas or then leave the gas, it starts to I know, like make some Egyptian moving, <laughs> and uh, your kids on the back seat really could get sick. But if you drive this car on a highway, if with your higher speed, I would say around 50 and 70 miles per hour this car is awesome it's really hold the road very well but what is really look weird on Volkswagen even for 2015 is that because this car doesn't have a running light on the headlight even with mid-grade version headlight on this car I would say pretty nice especially for like regular Halogen without any HAD or LED but high beams uh, I would say I wish to have more powerful. I drove this car during the night time in some like wood area and uh, really I would say could be better but for uh, low beams it's even for Halogen regular headlights it's really nice. From my own experience and from my friends experience Volkswagen still have problem with the uh, tires. I would say what kind of problem. Sometimes you can make a bubble on the bump but Volkswagen still use the same size as he used in 2000 with Golf 4, uh, which is on a 17 inch rims, it's 225, 45, 17. I think this car really with his tire size mostly for some like nice road like in California or in Florida or some on, somewhere in the south states. In my own life I locked the key inside the cars two times and I don't know why this happened only with Volkswagen. Short story how this happened. I put my stuff from this uh, store in the trunk. I put my keys as I usually do, for example, uh, on my Dodge Durango with the same key less uh, entry options in a bag and put this bag also in the trunk and then I lock trunk. And what do you think after this? This car locks all door. It's two options why this happened. Or maybe because the uh, battery in the remote control from this car was really low or maybe this car doesn't have like good sensor which let you know if keys inside the car because usually car with key less entry, if you lock keys inside the car, it never close the door until keys in the car. In most of the cars, if you want to open doors, uh, usually what all what you need to do just put your hand inside the door handle and this let the sensor open all doors. But on this Volkswagen, you can open only driver's door if you put your hand. And if you want to open all doors, you're supposed to put hand again. And I don't know why, sometimes it's no reaction. <laughs> Sorry guys, it's supposed to be open. Okay guys, we're under 2015 Volkswagen Golf Wagon. This car is, as I told you, was three years on a warehouse because of this uh, diesel scandal. And uh, this car has 24,000 miles and what I can tell you, it's Volkswagen. I would say it looks great. Everything covered by plastic, which again, it's uh, increase your level of anti-rust protection, increase your aerodynamic, which uh, allow you to save much more gas and diesel but uh, Volkswagen is still the same same complicated car as we usually know him. I never understand German's manufacturing especially Volkswagen why they do so many hardware on a car. Bolts which hold it this car under engine car it's like at least three sides of the bolt and all of them with the torques. Could you imagine to remove this cover to do just the oil change 
you need to have three number of sockets for your ratchet and uh, again you need to replace the whole of this plastic usually on normal cars you just need to open some windows and do like drain oil and replace oil filter i don't know what's going on with Volkswagen. they always try to find better location for this car but sometimes in the same place they put this oil filter on the top of the engine sometimes underneath of the engine on this generation they again move this oil filter from top on the bottom and just put some cover on the top why i really don't know i am not Volkswagen engineer they probably better better know i agree with them but uh, it's really make your regular maintenance more complicated. Volkswagen, as I see right now, start to have some problem. I see this by how they build this car. A lot of materials right now, especially in interiors, much cheaper than the previous generation. Rear suspension also looks cheaper. But I don't know why they still spend some money on some stuff, which is really, I know, without reason. For example, bolts for replacement your brake caliper. Everybody knows that to replace the brake calipers, if you ever if you ever do the brake job, is pretty easy. And look like how looks this bolt. It's great, right? You can use just regular tools or you can use Torx. But again, what the reason? On a normal car, all you need is just regular tools like this, and you can do it, right? But on Volkswagen, you have options. You can do with regular tool or with Torx. Like, you can do two way, which is great, right? But, guys, it's not too free. To build this bolt, you're supposed to spend more money. And who gonna pay for this? Of course, you. And Volkswagen spend a lot of money on stuff like this. And it's, believe me, it's a lot of stuff like this underneath of this car or under the engine. But they save money on the car electronics. If you look at many stickers on this car, you can see something. Like build in Mexico, build in China. If anybody of you check eBay, you will find that tons of parts on Volkswagen from China. And for example, original like window switch uh, could cost you from Volkswagen like 50, 100 dollars. I know it's like crazy numbers. But the same manufacturers, the same Volkswagen original switch, if you're gonna order on eBay from China, it's gonna cost you like 12 dollars. It's the same, the same parts which they use over here, but from Chinese manufacturers. And again, if you have time, it's pretty good to order somewhere on internet uh, Volkswagen parts. You see, rear suspension made in Mexico, some stuff made in Romania. If you see these hoses, and you can see the number, hose made in Romania, a lot of electronics made in China, Czech Republic, car from everywhere. How this car could be cheap? if you're supposed to build it from all around the world. Rear suspension. They start to build again like cheap version of rear suspension. They built the same old style rear suspension on Golf fourth generation. On the fifth generation, they change it to totally independent and fully independent suspension, which is, was great. I have before my own uh, Volkswagen Jetta. Fifth generation, it was great car. I really love it to drive it on highway. And again, this generations they again have like old style of suspension the same like in um, Chevrolet Caprice 2000 not even 2000 I don't know 1985 which is really old design of suspension but this kind of suspension even not the cheapest one which you can find it or uh, for example if you find a uh, like 60 by by uh, Jetta Classic uh, which is oh, I would say the same Golf right it could, could be even more cheaper it's just really straight I would say if you ever heard about a car like a uh, Russian car like Lada, it's still the same suspension from 90s, 70s. Guys, if you decide to do brake on this car by yourself, first of all, check what kind of tools do you need, especially if you need to remove uh, brake calipers. Because again, Volkswagen tried to do everything special to see you as much as possible on the dealership. Look at this bolt. It's again like special star, as I remember, it's a, I think 10 or 12 millimeter with 12, uh, 12 star like point star and this brake calipers actually it's pretty bad i don't know what's happening with them but sometimes we saw this volkswagen when they start to eat the brake pads on each side sometimes you like replace brake calipers and they start to do this on other side you replace new one and a week after they start to do on other side and no recalls on this part but i saw this a lot of time i believe with something wrong with abs pump until Volkswagen is new, it's really great car. It's everything easier to replace because all bolts and nuts covered by zinc, uh, 
plastic look fine under the hood but i would say maybe after five six seven years all this plastic all these pipes under the hood start to like crack and you start to have leak under Volkswagen everywhere and this bolt again is this special Volkswagen bolt with a 12 star socket if it's new like this it's super easy to unscrew but if it get old and the inside this bolt start to accumulate rust which start to eat your bolts you're supposed to use socket like this like 12 points uh, star and unscrew it will be nightmare because you or destroy your socket or you destroy your bolt because of the rust and then I don't know what you're supposed to do this you're supposed to replace like whole parts uh, like by, by one piece it's really hard to replace if you really want to buy Volkswagen buy it until it's new or until it have warranty because if these cars start to be old and you plan for example save money and try to do uh, some repair by yourself it's gonna be nightmare for you don't even think about this because you, all the time you're supposed to see the dealer first of all to do adaptation on any of your electric parts second thing because you need a lot of uh, original tools or not even original like additional tools to replace something and maintenance of this car is going to be really really hard for you so this car is i would say real volkswagen with europe design when you have like a normal gas uh, strut which is supposed to hold it your uh, hood but for example, a little bit cheaper version of Volkswagen Golf or Jetta, you're supposed to use stick like on your, I don't know, Yugo or cheap Nissan from 90s. But this one is still real good German Volkswagen. Volkswagen still look the same good as they usually see, like you see, like you have a cover for your battery, like a lot of plastic, which look this car really fancy and expensive, but some stuff again is the same complicated on most of the German car. You cannot use just the clips to check the uh, condition of your air filter or replace it. You're supposed to use again Torx with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, at least two screws to replace air filter. Yeah, you do this I know, once in 30,000 miles, but it doesn't matter why to do this so complicated. Interior on Volkswagen as usually look good, uh, especially on this model. Because again, like if you find some cheaper version of uh, Jetta, it looks horrible. Because this Volkswagen is still the same good old German school. For example, I don't know, leather on the doors, it's, it's still leather. Leather or like fake leather, but it feels like leather. It's nice and soft. It's not like plastic on some cheap Volkswagen Passage or cheap Jetta when you just touch it and feel it. I don't know it's a real plastic or here it's everything soft and uh, panel is soft again on cheaper version of Jetta it's a uh, really hard and noisy plastic dashboard I don't know if it's real aluminum or just fake aluminum but you know I think it's plastic but look great like I, I would say quality of materials is great but don't forget Volkswagen buttons for example like here on your glove box or on your door handle it looks and feels super nice until it's new but as if you ever saw our Volvo XC70 review and I told you Volkswagen usually lose this cover like rubber cover on the, uh, handles really really fast and after this uh, Volkswagen interior looks horrible leg rest on Volkswagen built as it's supposed to be from plastic you see when for example on Chrysler or Dodge it's usually carpet and especially if you have uh, light interior like uh, gray or tan it get dirty really really fast finally Volkswagen have backup camera finally I think Honda Civic has it I know at least five years before it and the quality of the backup camera is, is bright enough but uh, I would say two big pixels climate control it's manual I would wish to have automatic but again this is how so you supposed to build simple uh, climate control uh, switches is kind of little bit hard but again it's like make you feel how w what really you choose it and uh, it's really simple i would say if i wish to have it simple climate control is how it's supposed to look not, not how it look on the chrysler 300 this volkswagen has problem with the uh, ac compressor sometimes it's turn it off by himself and dealer don't want to fix it because they said if it's gonna happen in front of us they're gonna fix it but from just your words uh, we're not gonna trust you and uh, not gonna fix it what's happen usually happen with Volkswagen ACs because again Volkswagen start to do something like 
his own design. Usually to turn on the AC compressor you supposed to turn on clutch and uh, after this uh, compressor start to pump uh, free on uh, through the whole AC system. On this car it's pump all the time but you have just additional valve which like let this freon goes to right direction or wrong direction <laughs> and uh, on this car it's very very common problem when this valve is not working and most of the time you're supposed to replace whole ac compressor because find really right size of this valve sometimes it's hard on the market and sometimes even impossible because most of the time dealers and ac rebuilders company try to sell you whole um, AC compressor. Another problem is again like it's because of this huge moonroof. This car was in the parking lot I think for three years uh, maybe that's the reason why this happened but this car has one day to get a uh, water leak from roof and you're supposed to be really careful because it's like huge moonroof and uh, I would say it's more space from where it uh, can leak and what's happened leak, leak starts here for, and goes underneath or, and under the dashboard Volkswagen put a um, relay box and a couple of relays burn out and thanks God they replace it by warranty but uh, be careful with uh, this Volkswagen if you see some leak from your roof inside of the interior definitely go to mechanic or dealer to fix it right away because usually they leaking from on top on your relay box and you can I don't know, lose some power on your car what I would like to tell you about driving on this car, it's really nice and uh, especially if you drive fast this car because this car holds the road very well, steering wheel pretty nice to touch with some kind of polished leather and really nice steering wheel. Uh, and because of this I think diesel engine and turbo engine, it really feels powerful, not, of course it's not a rocket but for I think 2 liter engine it's much better feeling than you for example drive Toyota Camry. and uh, for example, after 50-60 miles per hour, really feels like power is done. On this car, no matter how many, I mean, how how big is your speed, and if you press gas pedal, it still feels this car really accelerate fast. Uh, really nice feeling of fast car. Uh, but again, as I told you, it's maybe not the best car by feeling, or maybe you're supposed to to learn how to control this. That if you drive in a traffic, this car. First of all, as I told you, because of this car, always uh, when you r remove uh, head, I mean, leg from gas pedal, it reduces his speed pretty fast. And also, I know this because of this, uh, because of the diesel engine, because of the weight of the diesel engine. Usually, diesel engine is much heavier, or maybe because of this cheap uh, uh, suspension on, on the back of this car, you feel that this car like uh, rolls a little bit more than previous generation of Volkswagen during the uh, turn. I would say it's again on a really nice uh, level, it's really good, but uh, Volkswagen before did it much better. I think that mirror for this car is supposed to be bigger. It's really, I would say, small and really inconvenient during your parking. But what I always like about uh, Volkswagen mirror is these features with a blinking light it's really nice to see it and you really understand it, for example, if you forget to turn off your turn signal. Guys, it's so cold, I really wanna go, I mean, turn around his uh, heater seats and what I can tell you, what I really lo always uh, love about Volkswagen seats. First of all, they fit you well, if you're skinny driver. Second thing, I think it's most faster heat, heating, heat seating system on the car. Just press your button, couple seconds and seat is hot. For example, on the Ford, Link, or whatever, it's uh, some premium brand, sometimes it takes too much time, you already get freeze in the car. Volkswagen start to drop his price uh, for cars to be compared to with other brands, and one of the things how he did this is with material, especially with material of the seats. For example, on fifth generation for Jetta and Golf, you have options to be uh, to get leather or leatherette, but guys, I really don't care if it's leather or, or leatherette, if it's work fine, if it, I don't know, hold his shape and the uh, texture for many years, I don't care. Volkswagen Leatherette, it's really high quality Leatherette and work for many, many years. Good job, guys. Another thing why I would say Volkswagen in general and especially this car also has options to be like very, very nice car for long trip. First of all, this is a car diesel one and uh, what show, uh, what owner of this car showed me, sometimes his gas mileage rise until 46 miles per gallon which is crazy 
good numbers, right? And another thing, in my own experience, I have two Volkswagen before. One of them was Volkswagen Jetta, fourth generation, and another uh, thing is uh, another car. It's Volkswagen Jetta, fifth generation. And what I can tell you why I choose this Volkswagen, because of the seats. First of all, they really wide, as it's supposed to be for skinny driver, they hold me well, and softness of the seats really how it's supposed to be. It's not too soft, not too hard, and really let my legs my other important part of the body stay rest during the long trip Volkswagen did as usually great job with interior color of uh, Volkswagen dashboard I would say it's like moonlight it's pretty white and look on the number of this board it's again it's how it's supposed to be easy to read very informative really cool car what really catch your eye very fast if you for example just ju jump in this car uh, for example if it's uber car first of all it's nice to light interior i really love the color uh, this great color really nice second thing is a huge panoramic roof not i think not so many cars or maybe no comparatives with this option really nice options if you like light interior gray leather with a huge panoramic roof is great but another thing which is look weird but i would say it's okay okay for cleaning again if you choose this car for good mileage for uber driving or because of the i don't know convenient with the trunk uh, but again it's gonna be easier to clean this black uh, seat belt it look weird right on a light interior but it's easy to clean weird but easy to clean to connect your phone to this car you're supposed to buy original Volkswagen cable no USB on this car just buy a original Volkswagen cable and then adapter to his original cable to USB which is work but why you need so many cables right Volkswagen thank you very much for cup holders you didn't do all this fancy German idea I would say BMW idea when they put cup holders in some special space or some special shape which always broken but on this car it's just regular cup holder how it's supposed to be good job do the same with all your body parts i mean body and engine parts again one more time to would like to tell thank you to volkswagen for many many years they still do all automatic windows not one not just front all of them and all of them automatic That's how it's supposed to be. Yep. This car built on a Jetta platform and uh, has a longer wheelbase compared to regular Volkswagen Golf. And even behind myself in so small car, I still have one finger space to put myself comfortable. But again, it's pretty good uh, seats, nice and soft. I mean, right softness and really good back seat. Another thank you from me to Volkswagen that how they build that uh, car seat uh, hooks all that you need to just remove these cups and put your car seat uh, lock system and lock it himself over here because in some car I would say especially if you're woman they put somewhere behind the like your seat cushion and if you're woman you really can broke your nails sometimes maybe even the fingers this is a really good German's idea that's how it's supposed to be another thank you to Volkswagen that's how they build the I mean rear seat folding system where on the, some fancy cars you can do this only from inside the, of the trunk or here you can do this from the trunk and also from interior why I would like to tell thank you for this to Volkswagen because for example if your mom and you sit on the back seat and you need to feed your child and sometimes you forget something in the trunk your bottles or anything like this it, you can do like this and reach whatever you want right on some of the car you first of all you don't have these options or you cannot do because whole holder for your seats somewhere inside the trunk sorry <laughs> <laughs> another nice thing for uber driver and again for owner of this car look how wide this armrest on the back seat really nice right for example on some toyota car i don't know it's like you get fight with your wife or with your passenger on the back seat if you really want to put your uh, hand on uh, hand rest this one is awesome really awesome and normal size of cup holder you can put some small one and two big one really nice and again another access to trunk 
if you really want to get something from the trunk. Cool, right? It's how it's supposed to be. German cars in this case, not in the electronic quality, but I would say in interior building quality, they really do awesome job. Another very cool feature, which is, I would say, not even cool, which is, I would say, really comfortable, is how they open his trunk. I really love it. My wife also loves it. And trunk space. Yeah, it's some stuff here, but again, it's pretty big. There's, a, again, additional options to fold the seat from the back, right? You don't need to run around your car. You can do this from trunk. Two options, from inside of the interior or from the trunk. And it's really huge. And what I really like, for example, when I rented Toyota Prius in uh, Puerto Rico, which is not the safest place in the United States, and uh, I left my uh, bags uh, inside the car because I have a couple of hours before flight, I really was worried if somebody see my on an empty parking lot car with some bag inside, then maybe somebody really want to steal something. But Volkswagen has this shade over here. Thank you. I know that a lot of cars also have it, but in Volkswagen they already charge you for, the, uh, for this shade. On a, on a Toyota Prius you're supposed to buy this additional. Also, it's still huge trunk under the, under the trunk, right? It's much bigger than I would say on most of the comparatives. So really nice job. I remember we took this car to airport and it definitely fit for I mean like full size of the bag and you still have some space for like carry on luggage but it's supposed to be on the top uh, maybe it's a good idea if you really travel a lot or buy some mesh which is separate trunk from uh, interior space one of the things which I really like hate or maybe I would say it was a bad idea to cancel the stuff it's a system how you can fold it front seat. That's one of the options why I choose, for example, my Dodge Durango, why I choose before my previous SUV as a Ford Freestyle. You can fold your front seat and even my 2007 Volkswagen Jetta fifth generation, I can fold it the front seat. But on this car, I cannot do this and uh, it's a wagon, but you cannot put something really long, for example, as a sk your ski or I don't know, surfboard inside the interior is supposed to put this on the roof because on this car you can fold the back of your seats on it. For example, if you watch our Matrix review, you really will see it, what I mean, or our Dodge Durango review. On this car, guys, please return this stuff again. Okay, guys, as a summary about 2015 Volkswagen Golf diesel with uh, wagon body. Buy or not? Of course, buy. Why? Because you don't have options. Because it's only one compact wagon on the market rest of them is like bmw 3 series or audi 4 series they too expensive right you don't have a choice first of all read article on wikipedia about volkswagen drop price uh, a lot of place in the car where they really drop it price why they said that because to be comparative with other brands for example from japanese as toyota or honda or uh, like think about it. make your cars worse to be comparative with japanese car Sounds weird, right? Because this Golf, not a Jetta, but we all know that it's Jetta base, right? Because it's longer wheelbase, a lot of stuff from Jetta here. But because of the Golf, you still have a lot of premium options on this car. It's a much better interior than on a Jetta. And you have, guess, uh, shocks for who to... But the rest is a Jetta. And if it's Jetta, it's cheap. Before, if you... Why I, I choose Volkswagen? High quality interior, high quality suspension, uh, a lot of fancy stuff which you never have anymore in Volkswagen. And in this case, if you're looking for regular hatchback or regular sedan, guys, buy something in Japanese. Because Volkswagen before has like, like beautiful anti-rust protection. They still have it, but right now Volkswagen, I mean, Japanese brand also have it. Civic right now also have a lot of plastic under the knees of the car. They cover everything. Toyota Corolla also. I think any American brand right now cover everything with the plastic under the knees, which is reduce your noise, uh, reduce your rust protection. But they also, I mean, Japanese brands have independent suspension, which this car don't have anymore. This why, if you really want a sedan, don't, I would say Volkswagen Jetta not as the best options, but Again, if you want a wagon, you don't have a choice, buy this wagon. Thank you everyone to be with us during this really cold weather and really cold morning. And be with us and see you in our next review.